Yo, what is going on guys, Flashverse here and welcome back to another video on my channel and this will be my review and breakdown for One Division episodes 1 and 2. I'll be going over the episodes bit by bit as I give you guys my overall thoughts on them and I will also be going over some easter eggs and some theories that I have as well. But before I go over anything however you guys don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you are aware of more Marvel content coming your way. And spoiler alert if you guys haven't seen both episodes because I will obviously be going over some spoilers since this is a review. So just in case you guys haven't seen the episodes yet that is your warning so click off the video right now if you haven't watched both episodes. Now, WandaVision was a very interesting way to kick off Phase 4 of the MCU since it is a different aesthetic to your typical MCU shows. So we have this like sitcom style which I loved, but it is very different because for the Marvel we are used to, it's like incredibly action packed, full of superhero stuff, whereas this, it is totally different. We kick off the episode with nothing explained in regards to where they are, where both Wanda and Vision are, so we have this mystery being established which leaves you so intrigued. But we have Wanda and Vision basically getting married, they move into a new home and they're pretty much living a perfect life. Um, something we never saw Wanda have so it was great seeing that, like this is probably like our first time actually seeing Wanda being happy because she's been through a lot, so seeing this was just great. Now this episode is packed with tons of hilarious stuff and one funny scene we had was where Wanda is playing around with the plates with her powers and she accidentally hits Vision on the head and the two of them just like you know start cracking jokes on each other which I loved and the two actors are also like acting like they're in some like sitcom world as well so that is something I really liked as well like it feels like it's actually like a sitcom thing you're watching in like the 1950s. And we have WandaVision asking Wanda about the heart on the calendar as he was confused about it. And again, it's just so much fun. We have Wanda going like, oh, how have you forgotten? And Vision was like, oh, I'm incapable of forgetting stuff. And then Wanda basically proves Vision wrong. Um, their facial expressions as well, like the way they're acting, as I said, is such a sitcom environment and I really liked it. It was so much fun. Um, it's just so different compared to your typical MCU stuff. We then have Vision heading off to work which was quite weird to see and um, we have Wanda basically being like that house lady pretty much and then after Vision heads out of the door we have Wanda like glancing on the calendar again in a state of confusion almost and it seems like she's suspicious that something is actually going wrong about where she is or is it that everything is going according to plan. We then have a new character being introduced and that is obviously Agnes and she's basically Wanda's neighbor and she's visiting Wanda and congratulating her about moving in and once again we have Wanda cracking jokes on Vision again so we have Wanda saying like oh I assure you I'm married to Agnes and she's like I am married to a human one so that was pretty funny as well because obviously Vision is not human but the character interactions between everyone is just so different to what we normally get and um, I just love it, it's really really cool. But you do see that there are these like small puzzles that Wanda can't put together so when Agnes asks like what are the two celebrating she has no clue but then she uses like an excuse of like an anniversary and again she has no idea about what's going on and she's like oh it feels like we've been together forever. So there are these questions which she just can't get answers for a reason and we do find out why during the end of the second episode. And Agnes was giving Wanda plans to surprise Vision because it is their quote unquote anniversary. Um, she made like the smirk on her face almost like she's planning something but let's just say that goes wrong. But we then head off to Vision and he is at work which was very awkward to see because we have never seen these two characters do what they are actually doing right now in previous MCU films. So we have Vision like completing these tasks that he has really quickly and he uses his like powers to do so and we do have like an employee in a state of shock and he's like oh that was fast how quickly did you do that? And um, we do also have the same thing going around with Vision where he has no idea in regards to what he is actually doing and he doesn't know because 
He's never done this stuff before. In fact, he's pretty much dead in the original reality. So this build up in mystery was awesome and it really kept me intrigued. And one really hilarious joke was one of the workers with Vision is like, oh, you're like a computer. And we actually had Vision getting triggered by that, which I love because Vision is obviously a computer. He is not human. So Vision was like roasting him. He's like, oh, I'm like, I'm made out of organic material just like you. But we do also get answers about the calendar and we find out that is that Wanda and Vision will be having dinner with Vision's boss, Mr. Hart, I think it was. So he'll be having dinner with both Mr. Hart and Mrs. Hart. And we then cut to Wanda planning this perfect dinner with Agnes as it is, quote unquote, once again, their anniversary. And we had Agnes giving her those, you know, little tips in regards to what she should do and then we have vision calling from the phone and reminding wanda that they have dinner tonight with the Hart family and still wanda has no idea about what's going on and we have her disagreeing as well because obviously she doesn't know that the Hart family are coming to the house she thinks it's just him and her doing this dinner so she, so vision was like oh we have to impress the lady to you know give like a good impression but then Wanda's like no we have to impress the husband because she thinks that she's talking about vision and um, I just love the part where like Agnes like gives the thumbs up as well I thought that was pretty cool to see now one very interesting scene we have was these two people over here doing this like stark toaster tv commercial and I am suspicious about why they are there and um, could this potentially be Wanda's parents by any chance because we do have like that beeping on the toaster which could resemble a bomb and obviously Wanda's parents did die from a stark bomb so I don't know could it be that but again I'm not entirely sure but it's, it's just a theory that I had but we do then have Vision arrive with the guests but the problem is Wanda set up a very romantic atmosphere and Vision is confused because Wanda thought that she was having dinner with only Vision. And we have Wanda dressed in a certain way, let's say, and she accidentally surprises Mr. Hart as well. Um, it was just hilarious. I absolutely love this scene. Vision is also in a state of shock and he's like, Wanda, what are you doing? And when Mr. Hart was questioning what Wanda was doing, Vision covered it up by saying it's like, oh, it's a Sokovian tradition of greeting someone, which was just great. And then we do have the two couples talking to each other in the kitchen as both of them were confused in regards to what is going on as Vision was obviously inviting those two guests whereas Wanda thought it was just her and Vision. So Wanda was replying, oh it's our anniversary but obviously that wasn't the case because they don't have an anniversary. And then after they got these issues resolved, we had Agnes coming in clutch with the food as well because Wanda didn't prepare anything so that was an issue but then Agnes comes in with the food and stuff and Wanda basically sets everything up with her powers really quickly. But we then have both of them acting very awkwardly in front of everyone and let's just say everything was going very chaotically until Wanda is able to set everything up using her powers like she makes like breakfast instead of dinner but yeah it worked but we do then have these series of questions building up the mystery once again like we have mr hart asking where were they married where did they move in where did they come from and we have both characters in a state of confusion once again as i said before building up that mystery in regards to what is happening over here and how they ended up in this reality obviously one of the two characters do know and we do get an answer to that towards the end of episode two and then we have Mr. Hart begin to choke as both Wanda and Vision are extremely confused in terms of what is going on. But we have Mrs. Hart continuously repeating, stop it, stop it, stop it. And clearly something was up. And we do have these slight glitches in reality where we have Mrs. Hart keep going, stop it, stop it. Until we had Vision using his powers to save Mr. Hart from choking. And then Mrs. Hart stops repeating the same word. And lastly, to wrap up episode one, we had Wanda and Vision having some time together. And we have Wanda giving both Vision and her the ring to show that they are obviously married. And they're obviously fixing the issues they had before, like when their anniversary is and stuff like that. But then we had a very, very interesting Easter egg. We had a sword ending scene. And sword is pretty much like another organization, just like S.H.I.E.L.D. And by the looks of it, 
they are the ones who are working with Wanda to create this like sitcom TV reality, but then building up into a more present day reality. I will get to that towards episode two because I do have a theory in regards to what is going on. And I did give you guys like a slight sneak peek of the theory that I have. Now going into episode two, this is where things start to get more and more interesting and we slowly get pieces of answers to solve what is happening. Um, we start off the episode with the two couples in bed and Wanda wakes up as she is afraid of the noise that's happening outside and that is obviously until Vision goes takes a look and then Vision starts to get afraid of that same noise as well. And we have like Wanda and Vision, both of them having the, their beds joined together and that's because of Wanda using her powers to do that. And Wanda finds out that it was just a tree branch that is doing that, or was it? We then cut to Wanda and Vision doing some like roleplay together where Vision is a magician and Wanda is pretty much like the test subject and he's basically practicing for the show that they're going to do later and he's going to make Wanda disappear. And once again, this was so much fun to see because we never get to see these stuff in like the MCU. After that, we have Wanda in the house and once again, she hears the same noises that she heard the other night. So we have her take a look outside and that is where things get incredibly interesting, where we have a colored helicopter in this black and white environment. And the mystery kept on building up in regards to what is going on and obviously she is aware about what's going on She knows these problems that are occurring in the fake reality because let's just say she is the one that created this reality After all we then have Wanda and Agnes head to this pool club and Wanda is trying to fit in as she's copying the actions of like the other people but she ends up acting so weirdly in front of everyone and she's basically just embarrassing herself but we do have, as far as I'm aware, that is Monica Rambeau. I'm not entirely sure, but she is obviously the girl from Captain Marvel. Um, she also is acting weird as well, just like she has no idea what's going on. Now, she does introduce herself as Geraldine, so I wasn't really sure if this was actually Monica or not, but it could be that her memories were just erased and she just has no idea who she is. Maybe that is something that's happening. But again, I'm not entirely sure. We then cut to Vision at this neighborhood watch meeting and everyone was staring at him in like a weird way. Like, what the hell is this guy doing over here? Um, just like Wanda, we have Vision acting very strangely in front of everyone as well. Um, it does such a great job in showing how differently these two characters are compared to the actual environment. And um, we have Vision choking on gum and um, because he isn't a real human, like the mechanics inside of him start messing up, which was quite funny to see. But once again, we have this mystery getting more and more intense and we have this radio which starts to act weird as well. And someone starts communicating with Wanda in this reality where they ask Wanda, who's doing this to you, Wanda? Until the radio just blows up and I love it. It just, the more and more you go, it just leaves you wanting more because you, you're so intrigued about what is actually going on over here. You just want to get to the end of the episode. And when you get to the end of the episode, you actually want more of it. But we do also get the same TV commercial people again with the ticking watch this time. So it leaves you wondering who these people are as well. Um, although it could very much be the theory I alluded to earlier, it may not be as well. It could just be a sitcom commercial. I'm not entirely sure. We then head to the stage show as well where Wanda and Vision prepare for their magic show but the problem is the gum starts affecting Vision so he's acting like he's drunk in a way but we have Wanda trying to explain what is happening around here like how off this place sounds but it is time for the two of them to go on stage so they can't really properly talk to each other about it but because of what's happening to Vision everything is going chaotic and they're just embarrassing themselves on stage. We do have Vision using his actual powers to shock the audience as well and Wanda is using her powers to explain to the audience how something they can do is possible in this world because obviously these people have no idea who they are. They do not know that these two characters are part of the Avengers. So when Vision starts flying, Wanda like ties him with a rope while using her powers 
and um, we have vision phasing the hat inside of him as well and we have Wanda covering it up with mirrors things like that and it amazes the audience and it was really cool to see it was so gripping and just so entertaining to watch so vision was pretty much like the troublemaker in a way and Wanda was the one finding the solution for it and that is until obviously Wanda takes the gum out of Vision's system while using her powers so now Vision is fully functional again. Lastly we cut back to the Vision household where Wanda and Vision once again have time for themselves just like the ending for episode 1 and we get this happy moment where Wanda is pregnant and then we get that noise occur again the very noise from like the start and then like the middle of the episode and we finally get a look to what is going on. We have someone from SWORD emerging from the sewers entering this fake reality in which Wanda is at and then we get this like time glitch where Wanda says no and they reverse back in time and then go back to the go back to the time where Wanda reveals that she's pregnant so Wanda clearly knows what is going on over here. So it leads me to believe that it is actually Wanda indeed who created this fake reality to live with Vision and Sword is probably like monitoring it I guess or something like that and she does not want to leave because if she does leave this reality she will never be able to see Vision again because Vision is obviously dead and maybe it's a case where she has to leave because what she's doing in this fake reality is maybe altering the real reality so that is why maybe this person emerged from the sewers and telling Wanda like it's time to come Maybe that's the reason that's going on. Maybe that is why this person arrived from the sewers to tell Wanda that she's screwing with the original reality. So it's time for her to leave it. And obviously Wanda doesn't want to do it. So she reverses back the time. That's what I think is going on. But again, I'm not entirely sure. But we then end off with everything being colored. So from this episode onwards, from episode 3 onwards, everything else will be colored. And we are ditching the sitcom style by the looks of it. Um, it gets more and more serious and more mysterious as we go along as well. And obviously we will be getting more answers as we go along as well. Overall, I love these two episodes. They were both so much fun and it just leaves you wanting more. I can't wait to see episode 3 next week. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought about the episodes. Did you guys like it? Did you guys not like it? I'm interested to see your opinions towards all of this. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.